Hello, everybody. It is 10.51 a.m. Central Time on Monday, September 26th, 2016. I hope you're doing good. This is your host, Dutch Sense, and I'm here on the Earthquake 3D live stream. And as I'm talking now, you'll hear a few earthquakes dinging off and ringing. This is a swarm that is broken out in Southern California directly at Salton Sea Volcanic Buttes. And in case you're not familiar with Salton Sea Volcanic Buttes, let me open up some coordinates for us to go look up. And I can quickly show you on Google Earth what the area looks like. It's pretty impressive, and this is a volcano in Southern California that was upgraded to active back in 2012, and it followed a new dating of some rocks and some other stuff around the area, which led scientists to find out that it had erupted much sooner than previously thought. They thought it was about 10,000 years ago, and they had to literally move it up by several thousand years to be active now, okay? And the reason being is there's a magma chamber down below this area, and this is a, here, let me click on this so you can see it. This is a series of small little buttes, rhyolitic lava domes that come up out of the edge of the greater magma chamber down below this area. And as you can read on the screen there now, go ahead and pause it if you want to find out the full history on there. But this is a spot that's actually been being struck over and over again over the past several weeks going into the past two to three months, almost four months. This started with a 5.2 earthquake down here, and it happened right at the magma chamber, followed by thousands of other earthquakes spreading out around Salton Sea. Today, the 4.3 and the swarm of threes, twos, and even ones that are striking is a result of the five that struck up off the coast just a day ago. You may remember 5.0 striking to the northwest of this location, and we got on yesterday, yesterday afternoon, and last night just after midnight, telling everybody, watch out to the east-southeast from this five, and the signs were all there, the warning signs, the different volcanoes were showing activity, the pumping operations around Los Angeles were showing activity, and let's just go ahead and show you that really quick, and we can quickly finish this update, and I can get it out on my channel to all my West Coast viewers. Guys, you had a two to three day warning for this activity to occur, the five up off the coast yesterday, and the movement down the coast today. Southern California is being hit at Salton Sea because there's pressure that transferred all the way down the coast and it's coming up from underneath. And it's hitting the magma chamber at Salton Sea, causing possibly, again, take a look at it guys, when I put the coordinates in, take a look at where they take us in on at Salton Sea. Directly here in the middle of the lake, or the sea if you want to call it that, and the magma chamber is directly below here. And the depth this is occurring at lines up perfectly with the magma chamber possibly rising up like the movie Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones where the volcano is forming in Los Angeles. Well, look what's going on in LA nearby to the west-northwest of this swarm. All these earthquakes right here striking all around the pumping operation in LA. So the warning signs were there. The other volcanoes hit up the coast. The pumping operation being struck all around it in Inglewood. And when you see the pumping operation, it's pretty large. We have several different pumps here. You guys are welcome to inspect the area. It's in LA. You can't miss it. It's well known by the people who live there. And then you got the Labre tar pits nearby as well. But now it's being struck by a swarm in LA in addition to the swarm down at Salton Sea. And the other swarms at the other volcanoes going up the coast, again, or up the border of California. And then along the coast, we have fault zone movement till we get to north of San Francisco, where we get back to volcanic movement. So the last day and a half has been pretty interesting, and we're going to see this spread over to the east to the fracking operations in the Midwest with similar size movement. So two things going on right now. Pressure transferring down the coast, causing additional earthquakes to strike in swarms at the prone locations. And our prone locations are our weak spots in the crust. Whether it's a man-made pumping operation, like what's being struck up here to the north with the most recent green earthquake there, Clear Lake Volcano, where humans are pumping water down into the upper chambers of a magma chamber there to produce steam to turn turbines, 
or down to the south at Salton Sea, where they're kind of doing more of the same, injecting water down into the upper chambers of Salton Sea to turn steam turbines. Both locations swarming out? Well, I would dare say that that's caused by the pressure coming up from down below. So people on the west coast shouldn't be shocked by this large movement in Southern California, but what we do have to watch out for is the potential for a possible volcanic eruption. Now look, guys, I've talked about this before, and I'm not trying to exaggerate, so I'm going to go play you something from the mainstream media, and this is on my Daily Motion channel, just because YouTube doesn't allow this kind of stuff to be put on your channel if it's a mainstream news report. But I'm just going to show this to you, and you guys watch it. Listen up. I'm going to mute my microphone. Listen to what the mainstream media has to say about incoming pressure to salt and sea and what it could cause, and then we'll get right back into this earthquake that just struck, okay? So hang tight, really quick. Okay. Hot magma, a volcanic eruption leading to clouds of ash in San Diego County. Comments from the U.S. Geological Survey are sparking questions about a scenario you may not have heard about. New at 6, 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the size of the threat lurking miles below the surface. In the film Volcano, Los Angeles becomes an inferno after a volcano forms under the city and erupts. The possibility of a lava spewing disaster in our region seems fictional, or is it? Oh, most definitely volcanic activity is possible. Geologist Pat Abbott knows firsthand what is hidden below. Boiling water. He was in the helicopter as this footage was shot of muddy pits belching volcanic gases about 100 miles to our east on the southern end of the Salton Sea, the home of four buttes. This is one of the buttes, a small volcano with an explosive past. Miles below is a 15-mile wide pool of magma. This was taken right from the buttes. It's obsidian. About 8,000 years ago, the buttes erupted, the magma flowed, and eventually cooled into obsidian. The damage of those eruptions was limited to the surrounding area, but if the big one hit along the San Andreas Fault... It really pumped a lot of energy into that new freshly enlarged magma body. That would be like a worst-case scenario. This 10 News virtual view shows what could happen. Unstable magma finding a path to the surface, erupting, oozing lava and spewing ash. While the ash fallout we saw in Iceland is a remote possibility, a USGS geologist recently said in a newspaper article, I would not anticipate an Iceland eruption, but we didn't anticipate Mount St. Helens either. Even if the ash cloud is small, it could still wreak havoc, altering flight plans. For the ash to come to San Diego County, uh, you'd have to have a Santa Ana. An unlucky mix of conditions could send the ash our way, causing breathing issues. An unlikely scenario, but one that's lurking beneath the surface. Michael Chen, 10 News. Okay, well, there you heard it, guys. So I'm going to get this video out. Again, the location being struck by a swarm of earthquakes right now. And that follows the five up off the coast to the northwest. No shock there. Pressure transferring to the east-southeast. Oklahoma, Kansas, fracking ops, you're next on the menu. And it's going to be similar in size to what we're seeing strike along the west coast. Much love, everybody. Have an earthquake plan ready. Be prepared just in case. You may never have to use the plan, but it's always a good idea to dust it off, know what you'll do, make sure your friends, family, loved ones, children know what to do in case of an earthquake.